This is Boot Churn or Butt Churn by Cali, 81.16 megabytes to download. Um, this does require three mods um, you need to download to be able to use the map properly. And they are Old Farm Package and EU Factories by DMI 20mm Normandy and Windmill by The Lort. Uh, it will download those automatically, I think, because I'm not sure I got all of them downloaded when I started this map. But when you load into the map as well, when you select your mods, if you haven't got them selected, it will throw up a warning saying, do you want to select those mods, blah, blah, blah. Just hit yes and it will do it for you. Description there says, good morning, fish rolls, tea and a green dike. Welcome to Boot Churn in the North Sea. Ten fields and five meadows are waiting for you to be worked. On the main farm is a farmhouse with barn, cow barn, 120 cows and straw bell trigger, chicken coop, slurry store, dung heap, machine hall, bulk goods hall, shelter, shed, storage silo, also for grass, hay, straw, silage and forage, silo mineral fertilizer, silo mineral feed, silo seed, two silage silos, diesel tank, and then Builted possibilities for farm expansion. We've got a pig farm with silo for pig feed, dyke sheep, horse paddock, greenhouses, silage silos at the BGA, field barn, windmill, building place. And it says builted sales and production points. We've got a windmill, a grain mill, a dairy, wholesale, shopping street, BGA, biomass cogeneration plant, spinning, rock crusher, cattle dealer, and barn machine dealer, lime seeds, mineral fertilizers, and a water point. A lot of that will make a lot more sense when we go around the map. And now I wish you a lot of fun in Boot Churn. So let's go and check it out. And here we are. This is where you start off in all three modes. We are by the side of the road and right at the main entrance to the driveway up into the main farm on the map. Talking of the map. Here it is. I've turned grass on just so you can see there is some grass field areas. Um, we are in new farmer mode as always and we start off with all that which is pretty decent. So field 1 that is valued at 207 grand. Field 6 157,000. Field 10 130,000. This is one of the grass fields that is just over 105,000. And this is all one lump with the farmhouse and also this big grass field going around it that is valued at 303,000 in terms of some of the other fields 7 is 204,000 this one's 230 um, I've got a smaller sort of ones up here 106,000 like so there's some more grass areas like that um, that's not actually a grass field but you'll see it as we go along 42 grand there you got this place over here 106,000 like so there is a couple of little random areas on the map you can buy like here which is down at the BGA I think that's where the bunker silos are and then this strip here I have no idea why that is valued at 650 grand I bought it earlier but nothing showed up nothing appeared so I was expecting sort of some icon to appear on the map when I bought it but it didn't so a little bit surprising a grass field there for 82 grand and this is the placeable area the building plot that they talk about that's just over 25 grand now there is a couple of places on the map missing which you'll have to buy the land for them to show up so like the pig farm the greenhouses sheep and horses etc um, also over here this strip here up in this top corner there is a garage or barn which you cannot use until you own this strip I will buy that when we get to it but the others I will add in some money in a minute once we've gone through a few things and I'll buy up the other areas so that you can see them on the map and obviously see them as we go round so that is pretty much the map we've got few productions and sale points down here animal dealer etc like i say bga is there you will need to buy that if you want to and a couple of productions and sale points there so like i say not a huge map but it's very cool um, if we scroll through this way there is no collectibles on here we don't start off with any production chains 
we've got contracts available on the fields we don't own and as you can see on our main farm we have a chicken coop and a cow barn large we do already have some animals in there so we've got 10 chickens and one rooster and we've got 10 cows in there as well so that is pretty much it i think um, there's no sort of custom crops or anything like that there is a couple of modded in things in build mode we'll go through that now so in sheds we've got these two sheds which are part of that required mod the old farm package so we've got this guy and these are on our main farm like so and then we have in farmhouses we have a uh, three different farmhouses as you can see as part of that pack as well and then in factories if we go up to there and into factories part of the eu factories mod we've got these two so we've got a dairy they are the same price as the base game ones but they've just been modded in as sort of like different buildings and we've got a grain mill and then the other required mod by the lot was this windmill which is on the map as well so everything is on the map um in animals and sheep we do have this sheep barn which is part of that old farm package as well this building isn't on the map but obviously that is available for you to place down if you want so that is the only modded in things in painting there's nothing major we've got animal mud asphalt concrete dirt forest ground grass gravel and rock that is it for that i think i've been through everything like so we will have a tour around the farm and then we'll go through a few things we'll go through slot counts and everything and i'll put some money in and we'll buy up those other areas so this is our sleep trigger you can't go in the house but that is it there right on the doorstep um, just round this side we have it is the base game large chicken coop but it's been slightly adjusted as you can see to fit in the map if we click on that this will hold 360 chickens and like i say we've got 10 in there and one rooster already which is awesome none of the animals have got any feed so you will need to sort that out pretty straight away but your feed point tipping point is there and your eggs will appear just there which is nice and nice there's our cows out there piece of equipment there um, that's where you get your milk from for your cows this has been increased i think the base game one only holds 80 but this will hold 120 uh, that has got already 10 in there most of you already know these triggers but through here is where your feed and straw trigger is going to be you can drive all the way through normally the slurry is roughly about here i think near this street light but it is behind us got a manure heap just there and we've got the slurry pit just over there which is very cool that's your manure heap trigger to load up we've got a little garage around the back here which we can go in we've got another garage there with some of our equipment we'll go through all that in a second um, we've got this solid fertilizer tank which is a storage silo that already has 4,000 liters in you can put more in there by going here hold a maximum of 56,000 liters then you can load up your trailers implements from there two bunker silos side by side nice and nice just down here we have a large fuel tank again that has got 2000 liters in but we can fill that up to a maximum of 23000 liters then we've got this shed with more of our equipment in we do start off with some bales we've got some straw bales we've got some hay bales we've also got some silage bales around the other side of these buildings which if i remember i will point out some more of our equipment and then we've got this silo this is the farmer 500 so that's 500,000 litre capacity that has been adjusted to take hay straw grass and silage as well as tmr which is pretty cool um it is just i think it takes potatoes as well and sugar beets yeah and then just like your normal crops as well so yeah it's pretty good it's been adjusted got plow over there then we've got these these are the karma 16s now these hold either mineral feed or seeds 
you can only have one or the other so they've put two down so you can have one for one one for the other so this one has got 2000 liters of seeds in already if we click on that again we can fill that right up it has a total capacity of 27,300 but obviously we've got 2000 already in there if we scroll across to mineral feed that won't let us put any in there now because obviously we've got seeds in there and likewise for this guy that has got 2000 liters of mineral feed in there then we've got this huge cavernous barn with loads of equipment in this does come with a workshop just over there which is very nice we can use that this also has the ability to turn the lights on doesn't matter where you're stood um, all of our equipment is dirty but that it is all pretty good condition i think the lowest one is at 94 percent but it all does need a bit of a clean um, the silage bells just there look so we have five silage bells as you can see bottom right that is showing up so at least you have got some ingredients to get tmr going for those cows obviously with the mineral feed as well and there's that huge grass field so that is the tour of the farm now my only little tiny disappointment and this is a personal opinion it's not going to affect everyone tiny little bit disappointed with the fact that we have these big huge modern barns because it's such a cool small map and a lot of Cali's maps we're used to sort of having that old feel and that's why I don't know if some of you guys might have watched it my Kleinsland series on FS19 where I did a vintage series and I absolutely loved it but we've got these huge sheds and buildings a bit too modern really the farmhouse is pretty all right that's pretty good but there you go um right slot counts we'll go through that first so like i say new farmer mode i am in and we do start off with quite a lot of equipment as you can see we've got all this so medium tractors we've got these the slot count is 1032 but like i say we do have quite a lot of equipment so we've got two medium tractors, Massey Ferguson 6716 and the John Deere 4755. We've got a very decent harvester, John Deere T560. We've got two trailers, we've got a Brantner and we've got a Valga. That is in the bell configuration we saw earlier. But this Brantner holds 33,600 litres, which is huge. Um, header for your harvester. We've got an Agramash plough, Agramash disc harrow power harrow which will hook up to this cedar cedar so you can cultivate and see at the same time amazon spreader we've got a manure spreader um, these shooting slurry tank and slurry distributor we've got a grassland care in there sorry roller that will also plant grass and oil seed radish if you want to I think it's just in the roller configuration though. We've got a mower setup, which is very nice. Decent sized tedder and a decent sized windrower. Huge capacity load and wagon. We've got a baler. And in animals, we've got a forage mixer, feed mixer for your TMR. We've got a straw blower and a tank, which will hold milk, water, liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Front loader with a couple of attachments, pallet fork, manure fork trailer for your header and we've got a couple of weights we've got one for the john deere that's a 900 kilogram one and a 10 winkle 750 kilogram one Whew. now if you sell off all of that equipment you can get the slot count down to 837 so quite a drop that is um you can get it down even more because this farm you can sell off everything and i mean everything even all the lamp posts and if i show you for example these concrete bollards we click on them there's three deco packs so this is the third one you can sell them off and it gets rid of everything all of this look that that's part of deco too the street lights if we can click on it no that's the cow one there we go that's part of deco one the puddles as well on the farm so it really, really opens up this area. I'll show you a short clip of how huge this area is if you get rid of everything. So 
so pretty impressive so if you sell off all of that as well as the vehicles and equipment the slot count goes right down to 711 there's even potential to get that down even lower because if you do own all the areas you need to buy for triggers to show up animal pens things like that you can sell off a lot of that stuff i managed to get it down as low as 619 but a lot of it i would leave in place i may get rid of the, some of these buildings i don't know but anyway that is the slot count for new farm modes farm managers start from scratch you come on here you don't start off owning any land or equipment and that slot count is 837 same as selling off all the equipment um you still got animals in the pens so you still got chickens and cows in these barns it will let you use them and put more in there um also there's still the things in the silos so like the seeds and the fertilizer etc but some of the garages you cannot open and that is mainly i think this little fella here and if you click on it you can't sell it so you will need to own the land to get rid of some of these buildings so just something to note there right that i think is all that bit out of the way let's crack on because it shouldn't take us too long to get around this oh yes i need to add in some money so bear with me a second i will do that now and as if by magic we have 820 grand on us now right let's buy up some of these plots so the pig farm straight away is there 223,680. we'll buy that straight away all the triggers come up we will go through them as we go round. This plot here, 33,840, we'll buy that. That is your three large greenhouses. Then we've got these two, 42 grand just over, 36 grand. That is the two sheep pastures. They are separate, but you will need to buy those plots of land if you want to. Down by the animal dealer, I've got this little plot there for just over 34 grand. That is your horses and i think we'll leave it there like i say this plot up here when i get to it i will buy that um i doubt we'll have no we can't afford that now i just wanted to show you that right let's head on out and round very cool little map though and the fields are pretty big to be honest with you for this sort of size of map um, we need to go up this way apologies for some of the trees in the way but i'm going to try and get it so there's not too bad just here we'll stop there and jump out we have got the water point which is just there which is a cool little pond type thing we are literally on the edge of the map that is it i cannot go no further so that's where you can top up with your water and then moving on to things that will require some of that water if you buy that plot got various little buildings you can't use them it's just decorative it's, again it's right on the edge of the map but it just brings the map to life i'm already missing my turnings in fact i will go around this way actually because this is the three greenhouses um, if we go down this way you're going to be able to because they've been sort of modified come this side and you've got these cool sort of water system they're going to fill up your water from there obviously use them as normal if you want to so there's three there and then round the other side which we will go round and come back out is where your produce is going to appear and that is just there in front of them so they are exactly the same design as the base game it's just that water's been sort of made to look a little bit better i think and as you can see look over there on the little hill we have some sheep so yes the other animal pens apart from the pig farm come with animals in if you buy them which is very nice i love this little set up the little pastures if we run up here look we've got people walking along the back here we've got a little footpath there's people walking down on the beach awesome very very cool right this is going to be your dialogue box 
this has already got 10 sheep in there's 10 in the sheep pen next door so look, i don't have to show you that they will need water and they will need feeding they do not have any feed and the wall is going to appear that side next door we've got exactly the same different breed of sheep though and we've also got just one random black welsh mountain ones in there <laughs> exactly the same setup triggers it's just the same so that's very cool and like i say the pigs you don't start off with having any pigs you will have to buy them yourself we do get two horses if you buy the horse pasture which we'll see in a second but we're going to head on down here and then in on the left here we've got the shop area which is a very nice little area as well so just there which we drove through this little area that is your workshop trigger with the icon just there very nice indeed so as you can see very cool it's a spinnery through there but we can't get to it that way we've got the debris crusher just there shop icons just there for your buying and then we also have this which is a buy point for seeds lime and solid fertilizer very nice That's also your reset point as well at the shop. Um, next up, we are going to head on round this way. We'll do a, a little bit of a sort of loop round here to get to these places, but it will all make sense. So we've got the horse pasture just here. So as you can see, there's two in there. This will hold five. We've got Hope and Ollie in there. There is gates there if you want to bring them in and out for riding. So again, they will need water and then they will need feeding. The feed troughs just there, like so. Now around this way, just here, got the animal dealer area. So there you go, it's coming up the ones we've bought for us. See, I mean, all of this gives it that small map older style feel and then you've got those modern barns i don't know it might just be me being a bit picky um just here we've got the bell sell point so you can sell your bell or loose products like so and then we will head on up here because this is where the spinnery is we could see it through the fence but obviously you can't access it from that side so it's a little bit tight in there but there we go spinnery obviously the wrench is around the back of this building to buy it your products are going to appear there so that is the spinnery and then we need to go down this second turning because this is a one-way system this is very cool i like this as well this sail point coming up here is called shopping street <laughs> so it's got all sort of like little cafes i guess eating areas there's a nice church there luckily no traffic comes down here but just here you can see the triggers is the sale point this will take things like your produce eggs milk things like that potatoes and we've got all this little very cool way that's been done little cafe um, we are going to go straight across it's over there you can just about see if i can sort the no i can't sort the camera angles out <laughs> sorry is the windmill so this is one of the production units the modded in one you can use it as a sale point so you tip in there you can buy it for 50 grand it's a bit noisy and your pallets of produce will appear there so that is windmill and then we're going to go down this way we will go back across the animal dealer which is just coming up just there and then the horses and then in the background you can see the BGA and that is where we head in it feels very very nice it's nice and bright map it's the colors are all nice I mean I wouldn't expect anything different from Cali to be honest with you um, there is gates here I was hoping you might be able to go in there but you hit the edge of the map just here look so not really much use that area it's 
so yeah this is the bg8 this was also a mod i did i point that out in production and let's get onto it factories i think i only showed you that yeah we've got this bga that's been modded in as well like so which is i think it's basically the same as the base game one the smaller one so all your usual sort of things like so to buy that it is 435 grand you got all your triggers there and then we've got the biomass heating plant there where you can sell wood straw and things like that and those two bunker silos which i think is the plot that you can buy like so so you can even sell them off so yeah it's not allowing me to do that but if we bought that plot like so i could then sell that so that's how you can get your slot count down if you wanted to right from there down here got a couple of production units these are the two modded in ones as well they are right next door to each other so i am going to stop here so first at the front here this is the dairy so you tip in there you can buy it the same prices as the base game one and the products will appear there and then right next door to it just behind that is the grain mill so again tip in buy it if you want area there for your produce and then just here look is another sale point and this is wholesale so that's going to be kind of like a main sort of sale point and if we come out of here again a little bit tight there but we are whoa, out and nearly causing a crash i do apologize sir <laughs> just here is that placeable area where you can put down anything you want build another little farm put some productions in if you want to that traffic is so annoying on here you get near anyone they just slam on the brakes I like the way this has been done we are right on the edge of the map so we've still got cars whizzing down there but we can't access that we've got houses and things like that that's been done very cool and then now we are heading on up to this area like I talked about you will need to own to be able to use this shed that's why I did not buy it so if I stop here and try to use this shed it won't let me now what I was straight away thinking is how much of this could we use before we hit the edge of the map and the question is about there so you're going to use about half of it I would say so I'm stood there so yeah you could probably use half of it um, create another field so let's quickly buy that strip um, that should now let us use this shed like so it's got lights on in even and then I was thinking well what about this fence can we get rid of this fence yes we can so you can open that right up and put a sort of field in there more sheds anything you want really that's pretty smart if you wanted to buy that area and then the last thing to see is the pig farm so we are going across the main road where we started off standing there's our farm over there we've already done that if we swing a left and then head on down around the bend and i like the layout of this pig farm as well it's not a huge area but it's been done quite well again so we'll stop in there um, this is your pig barn as you can see there's no pigs in here so you will need to buy these hold 270 though you'll feed a tip in just there and then this is the slurry point so you've got a separate one there we've got a manure heap just there like so and that's where you're going to get your manure out you can drive around the back which we will need to to access these features that i'm going to show you so we've got the silo here that's an 800,000 litre capacity one it says i haven't tested it but it does say that it will hold pig food which is cool we've got some sheds again you won't be able to use these unless you own this land i like the way they're sort of sunk into the ground because we go up to this level again and as you can see they are 
<laughs> sunken down in and that is it guys so we started off here we went up around there greenhouses sheep down into the shop did that area and went all through round here back bga productions up there to this area with the shed on and then down and in and that was it at the pig farm so there you go that is butcher or butcher and i'm not sure how you say it but pretty cool map by cali really like that hope you have all enjoyed the map tour if you have please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty